What's up guys, Desh here. I was wondering why I woke up early today and it is because we got a huge video and announcement from ARK, Survival Evolved. Looks like we have a release date for Lost Island. The three new creatures thoroughly confirmed and a nice look at kind of what they do in use and Fjorder, Fjord, Jord, Yorder, however you say the new map's name, it's coming next year. We get two free DLC maps that were once modded maps coming to Ark Survival Evolved in the midst of this time while they're working on Ark 2. Real quick before we hop into that, if you wouldn't mind hitting that subscribe button, I'm trying to hit a thousand subscribers by Christmas. Look at the graph, hit the button, whatever I'm supposed to do here. Let's take a look at these new dinos. So for release dates, we have the Further. map coming in June of next year and Lost Island, which has these new dinos, coming in December 14th of this year. So just about a month and a week, five weeks away. Now for dinos, we have the Amargosaurus or the uh, hot and cold spiky boy. We have the Dinopithecus, also known as Giant Monkey version 69. Then we have Flying Backpack Boy, or the Cinemacrops. Now we're going to start off with this beautiful Backpack Boy, because he's going to be the biggest change, I think, to the game. Not only is he a glider, seemingly a bit of a jetpack, and a backpack, he can just carry tons of stuff. He's also a direct counter, it seems, obviously not confirmed, to the Noglin. Now this guy's wings, he has this ability as you'll see here, uh, I'm using it on a hyenodon. It can stun things, it seems to be smaller dinos, obviously. Uh, probably can't stun a Giga with this, if you could, that'd be hilarious, but hey. Uh, it seems to be smaller dinos, but it's a hyenodon right there, so who knows how small we're talking. So yeah, this I expect to be a direct counter to Noglins, and Obviously, you could fly. It's like having a tech jetpack, but it's a bird on your back. An interesting quirk about these, they get mad at bugs, just like another dino we know, including kite and armor. So, going to be interesting. You just have to not scare them away while taming them. So, passive tame, probably going to be a pain, just like the shadow mains. But I think it'll be worth it. You get enough of these, breed them up. This is going to be a, a fun dino. This is my favorite so far. Now on to the Dino Pithecus. These guys are pretty interesting. Another monkey, uh, baboon I guess is more accurate, but these guys uh, have a parasite in their feces apparently that uh, they've weaponized to disable tech. Now, it's more of this dino obviously, but I'm stuck on the fact that the Dozier just says tech. It doesn't say tech armor like we'll see here in the trailer. It just says tech. It also says that you can fling fecal projectiles, grenades, or a combination that they like to call EBM, explosive bowel movement. Sorry to anybody with bowel issues. But um, that tells me that this is probably gonna hurt any tech structure. I even wanna know if maybe you can throw grenades through a tech force field. I don't know. Obviously just speculation, we've only seen it disable the tech armor in the trailer here, but hey, I like to think about that. Other things are this guy won't have a saddle, just carries you with its tail, I guess. It also is a pack animal that you seem to be able to target with potentially a boosted war cry. It almost seems, as many others have speculated, that you might be able to get assistance from wild ones after you've tamed some of them. But as far as we know right now, it's just a pack dino. Now, last but not least, the Amargasaurus, hot, cold, spiky boy. Coming in as a cross between your favorite soakers that doesn't soak, this angry Diplo is going through its spiky phase, and it can harvest sap. Oh yeah, it also has enough emotion to both freeze your enemies with its thermonuclear spines and launch flaming chaos upon your enemies, all while disabling tech at the same exact time. 